So Christian, uh, you had a few weeks now in, in your role at St Helens. Uh, have you been happy with those first few weeks? Yeah, I have. Um, blokes are working really hard, um, doing everything that's asked at the moment. Uh, certainly got a good attention to detail and uh, a real good willingness to learn. So there's a lot to work with. And on a personal note, are you slowly settling into your new home and life in St Helens now? Yeah, definitely. Really enjoying it. And you know, I've said before how, uh, how welcoming everyone's been in the community and um, you know, running into people around town and, and they're all very willing to come up and say hello and uh, wish me all the best. So it's been nice. And your family arrived in a couple of weeks. That must be nice out of Christmas, getting settled in your, in your home. Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, sort of deciding whether I uh, put a few Christmas decorations up before they get here or whether I wait for the kids to get here and, and do it with them. And in terms of you know the rugby side, you know you've you been happy with the facilities, you know the training facilities, the stadium, everything up to up to your your standard and what you expected. Yeah, look, the stadium's exceptional. Uh, it's as good as anything I've experienced in Australia and uh, or New Zealand or, or anywhere else. And um, you know, the training facility, we've got everything we need there to to be really good and to be world class, and uh, and that's all you need. And uh, you know, the variety that we get in terms of our our facilities is really good as well. And um, you know, in a funny way, it's a real positive that we uh, we change venues a little bit because you're, you're not following the same track and training at the same venue every day, and um, you know, it's a real positive for us. And you've met kind of 90% of the players now. You, you talked about their attitude. Has it really impressed you then, their attitude and how they've trained over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, look, the, I've said a couple of times, there's a really good work ethic um, and a really good desire to listen and learn and, and want to work hard. And, uh, if you've got those couple of things, then you, you know, you've got a group that's going to improve and, and take challenges on, and uh, that's exactly what this group is. So, um, you know, obviously they've had a successful year on the back of that, and we're a really good chance of having success again because of it. And what have you had the lads working on in these first few weeks? Is it just about that hard graft? Is it a bit of ball play, a bit of fitness, a bit of both? Oh, it looks a bit of everything. Um, you know, pre-season you want to get fitter, stronger, more skillful, uh, faster. You, you're trying to work on everything. So. Um, yeah, you know, there's a little bit of uh, working on, a little bit on on some um, things around our D, uh, working on a couple of things just to evolve our attack, attack a little bit and um, give us a little bit more ability with our attack. And at the same time, as I said, we're we're doing plenty of fitness and, and plenty of strength work as well. So pre seasons are always busy. And on the injury front, you know, Matthew Lees is now back in training. I see Tommy Makeson and Morgan Knowles are in the gym doing some work, and, and James Roby as well. That must be pleasing for the club to have so so many senior figures back in contention. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're starting to get more numbers on the field, and um, you know, more blokes being able to do more things. The guys have come out of surgery, and uh, it's been a little bit of a disrupted pre-season in that sense. And it will will continue to be just on the back of a number of guys having surgery. Uh, obviously, a number of guys involved with a um, lengthy uh, representative season as well. So. Uh, we're not quite back to, to everyone training yet, and we're certainly not quite back to full strength, but just after Christmas we get closer and closer. And uh, earlier this week, Jack Wellsby signed a new contract at the club. Uh, must be pleasing again for the club, given his, his talent and, and his future here. Yeah, it's look, very pleasing for the club. Uh, I haven't been here long, but I've been here long enough to see that he's, uh, he's a very good kid. He wants to improve his game. Uh, he's got a lot of potential and he's going to be a good footy player, and... Uh, it's great that, that that footy's going to be played at St Helens, so um, it's a it's a really good really good signing for the club. And since we last spoke, you know the World Cup challenge has, has been announced, and uh, what a great opportunity to to grab our first piece of silverware potentially in the new year. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it's a good opportunity, as you said early as well. We we get to um, you know, have a little bit of a goal there that's uh, not a long term goal in terms of what you want to do over a season, but a short term goal in in terms of something to achieve early in the year and. Um, you know, it just gives us a little bit more motivation to, to work a bit harder and you know, we, we want to we want to compete and, and uh, give ourselves a real good chance of winning against the best team in the world. So our pre-season is about being world class in everything we do.